Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Total War 2 Warhammer. I got the words the wrong way around, but you know what I mean. Uh, it is the Dark Elf Saga and we are having a good time as the Nagarond boys with Malaketh and his awesome hat. Um, we just conquered the Mung. The Mung are no more. Uh, which means all of my armies are about as far away from anywhere useful as they possibly can be. But they have literally just done this a turn ago. No, this turn. It was this turn. Um, so what we now need to do this episode is probably have a little bit of a couple of fairly gentle turns without too much terrible conflict. So with that in mind, let's get ourselves a Hydra! Yeah, baby! <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. I'm excited about that. Right, we got some people who need to be upgraded. You are ne not really needed over here anymore. Um, I think she goes on scout duty, you know? I think she gets to go and be a scout. Uh, right, what else we got going on? Uh, oh, we need some stuff. We got... Speed for cold one nights. Well, we don't have the ability to build those yet, so that's a little bit early doors. Um, Dread Spears, all their weapons get better. That's probably more useful in the short term. Slaves and slave markets get better money. That's definitely... I mean, so we've got money, income... Uh, extra untainted, makes witch elves better. We've got... Income from iron and gold mines, that's really handy. Uh, harpies and war hydras going up in ranks are brilliant. Yeah, I think that might be the way to go. Even though that's not useful to us right now. That's the most useful to us in the short term. Uh, extra ammo and more damage is really great. That's also very cool. Reworked crossbows, ammunition 20%. Wow, range 50%. That's really good. Um, right. We can also get the Black Orc Corsairs as well. Oh my god, there's too many things to do. There's too many things to do. Hmm. Crikey, it just keeps on going. Um, right, let's go for... I think I'm going to go for that one, because I'm going to start recruiting Black Orc Corsair units a lot more. That sounds like a nonsense thing to do, doesn't it? I'm not going to recruit very many more of those, though, so that's potentially dumb. Although, having said that, I do need more... I keep saying I need more swordsmen. Oh, I can't make up my mind. Everyone runs faster. That's kind of handy. I'm going to take that one because that one is the best one in the short term. Six turns time, most of my army will be stronger than it is now. That is a definite win. Everything else involves buying or recruiting or that kind of stuff in the interim. So let's not worry about that. Uh, that's the tech done. Now let's just check out on the whole building stuff side of things because we've got a brand new island here uh, where we have, obviously it's part of the province I've been working on so public order will now go down for a bit but that's fine, that's just the one turn. Uh, that we are gradually decorrupting so that's okay. How much effect is that having? Only four now so that's alright. The only instability factor is the fact that there's a uh, an empty settlement over there. So, do I need tunnels? Mm, probably should keep them anyway, just in case. Weird. Actually, I don't think we do need the tunnels. I think what we probably need is some slave pens. Or a road. Crushing victory! Because, like, we're never going to build troops up here because it's in the back end of nowhere. 
So having troops be able to move through it quicker sounds like a plan, although it does take five turns. Yes. Nah. I still think that was a good thing to do. Right, let's upgrade Malekith. He's got two skill points to spend, that's interesting. He just got Supreme Spell Shield as well, which sounds handy. I seem to remember saying I didn't want to give him a... Didn't want to give him a chariot, because it downgrades all of his stats. I wanted instead to give him one of these. Uh, which is only actually in three ranks time. That's pretty exciting. Right, we recently picked up War Leader, so now we can go for Casualties Captured Post Battle plus a load. We've also got that. Magic Item Drops, extra cash. Lord Recruitment, Attrition suffered from all Casualties Captured, more money for looting. We don't do a lot of looting. More casualties captured, though, means more replenishment. Missile resistance plus 10, magic resistance plus 10. Absolute power. Is an augment. Hold the line. Hmm. Passive ability, hold the line. That does kind of sound cool, doesn't it? At the same time, though, should we be giving him better stuff? But once we give him better stuff, when we give him a dragon, does it really make any difference? Should I just be concentrating on magic? Probably. Power of Darkness. Draws an unstable power in the realms of chaos to charge their spells. Sounds dangerous. Spiteful Conjuration. Word of Pain? That's a hex. That means everyone will do less damage and have worse armor. I'm going to spell him up. It's a passive ability, it's always on. Oh no, it's not always on. Oh, it is always on. Let's take that. And let's take that. Cool. She's also got some people who've leveled up. I'm not sure if it's her or not. Is it you? Did you level up? No, no skill points. Not you. Ah, uh, you have though. You've got a skill point. Good. Right, what can you do? You're another one of these fighting types, aren't you? So let's make you a bit more dangerous. By meaning that you're harder to kill. You'll do. Yeah, we are still in the same turn that we just had, so let's let's not worry about that for too much longer. Uh, we definitely want to upgrade that now. Do we? No, we don't. Oh, no, we don't. Hang on. What did we do? Wrong province. Ah, I've already done that one. That's, <laughs> that's good news. Um, right, let's get some more public order. I oh, don't need any. Let's get some assassins. That would be cool. Or do we go for the cold ones? That's what we do. Mmm. 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 Yummy, yum, yum. yum. Uh, what else can we get? Apparently at some point we can build the Black Tower of Dudar. And Towers of the Black Guard means that we can build what we're about to be able to get from here, but it gives them all a big bonus, so we should probably definitely do that as well. Managed to spend most of that cash, so that was good. Join our bloody games. You join your own bloody games. Uh, right, what about over here? 
Is that any point in doing that? Not really. That'll do it, everyone. That will do it. So yeah, that was all the same turn that the big battle from the previous uh, episode was just in. Uh, what's your beef? What are you doing? Just wandering around? Fine. You're at war. They're having a war with those guys who look like a bird thing. I might go and join in and help at some point, but for the time being, I just wanted to secure the northern border. An upstart dreadlord approaches your dark majesty, claiming to know where a lost artifact of great power Ooh. may be found. He has even been so bold as to name a price. A mass of treasury of 7113. And we will get a load of stuff. Okay. That just be, means all I have to do is not spend any money this turn. Uh, ooh. The disappeared. Obviously one of your settlements is gradually vanishing. Hmm. And we've gained another kettle drummer. I really need to make sure that these people are actually where they should be. Um, bear with me a minute. Let's just start at the top. Yes, that's you. You're the king. Well done. Right, who have you got? You've got a slaver, a kettle drummer, a scarecrow, a factor, a worm hunter. So we could give you a choir master. We've got a choir master who's not being used. Right. Right. Cloak of Twilight. What else we got? Loads of stuff. I think Cloak of Twilight's probably the one we want. Armor of Midnight, that's fine. Venom Sword, also fine. Opal Amulet, which is giving us Ward Save. 22% damage resistance. We could have 20% magic resistance instead. Okay. He has got loads of traits now. He's getting very good. Okay, I think he's okay. We'll, we'll leave him as is. Who's next? Cruelty and violence. Yeah, what you got going on? Have you got any people with you? Anyone looking after you? You've got a sword of striking, nice. Everyone seems to have a... Oh, the brass horn. I gave you that, didn't I? No mount for you. Talisman, you can have magic resistance. Well done. Uh, you probably can have a choir master as well. Oh, a kettle drummer. Because I'm pretty sure Evelyn's already got all of these things. Cool. How about you? Unfortunately, I've got all of the leaders have all of the equipment. Can give her fireballs? I'm not sure I want to. Right, anyway, you are not required there anymore. You are required to be in... You need to come back over here, I think. Hang on, let's think about this properly. Uh, okay. I have dark purpose. It's got dark purpose, all right. What awaits me? Um, right, good. Four turns till we build a thing. So yeah, we kind of just want this to make us money and growth to begin with. So let's just get an artisan's house on the go. And maybe upgrade one of these bad boys. Maybe spend some somewhere else first. Okay, so there's another bit of territory up here where it starts to get evil. So 
Just past this line. I wonder who these people are and whether I should even attack them. Are they going to be undead or something? Or I'm not even sure who lives down here, if, it, if it's anyone. They're definitely... Uh, Definitely some sort of evil undead people. Right, so not gonna. S I was. Yes, I don't. Don't spend any more money. Don't spend any more money. Do nothing. Uh, you're waiting. Good. Don't spend any more money. Keep not spending any more money, Joe. Do not spend any more money. Let's just have a quick work around. Check on everyone's happiness. 67 with plus 5 is great. 7 plus 1 is average. Uh, 32 plus 6 is okay. And over here. 67 minus 6. Something weird's happening here though. Probably need to... Probably need to up the, the population. Hmm. Yes. Everything is fine. Don't spend any more money. Press the turn button. There you go. Phew. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. I've got her running around. That's cool, actually, because she can run up into this dangerous place and find out who lives there. That's a concern. Because that's a 19 out of 20 unit army. Ah, that's only a 3. Although it is looked after by Electra, who, if you've ever read Marvel comics, is a pain in the arse. I also don't like it when you en engage in a battle at sea, because you will you have no chance of doing anything. It just The computer just goes, I've added up the numbers and you lost. Which can be a problem. He's going to go off and recapture Mung. I predict this. Hooray! They won. There's all sorts of things going on down here in this bit of sea. I have no idea what relevance it has to the rest of the world. Hey, we had lots of money and as a result we earned more money and got some scrolls. So that's good news. Maintain 50 units in total. Current total, 47. Okay, so build three more units, is what they're saying. Dreadlord, at your command. Why are we attritioning in? What's going on? How old? Maybe it's just in that pass. Not sure. Um, let's take the fast route though. I think maybe it's just in that mountain pass. Because everything else seems okay. Chong. So we won't run quite as far. Um, we will invest more money in making stuff better. Possibly not there though. Do we want to get one of these? Oh no. Aha! That's probably a better use of cash, although that is a lot of cash. Population surplus four. So we could do both of these in one go. Kind of tempting. They're both expensive though. Let's come back over into the main one first and let's just see if we've done anything here that we need to do. Uh, that is 
that's just happened. Right, so that needs to happen. That can happen, because why not? It's making cash. Um... I don't think there's much point in putting any of those big buildings there. We might as well just go for the smaller ones, the the ones which are only level three. Um, but that's just really the growth building, and one thing we don't really need here is a growth building because we've only got one more growth to go, and we'll be getting that pop. So, how many turns do we need? Hang on, what do we need? We need five. We currently got two, so it will take a while. But yeah, I think, um, unless there's a way of making cash... Slave pits? Slave pens? Sorry? Torture posts, slave pens. Slave pens make cash. So really, what we should... Ooh, hello. They make money from slaves. 10%. Do that. Whereas over here, we do still need... Uh, have we got one of those? Sorcerer's Abode. What haven't we got? Yeah, we do still need a Sorcerer's Abode, and... We're currently building that. We've got one of those. We've got one of these. So yeah, it's just Sorcerer's Abode. And then the other building, I believe, is this one. Um, ooh, hang on. So we've got that, which is a faction-wide tax buff. And we've got that, which is a massive buff. Uh, we kind of need both of those. So which was the one I just said? Sorcerer's Abode... Okay, so we're going to need to put a Sorcerer's Abode somewhere else. I think I'm okay with that. I can live with that. Um, I am going to build that. Because when these finish... I don't want to be building Halberdiers straight away, but when I do start building Halberdiers, because they are brilliant, I'm going to want to be able to build them cheap. Because 30% cheap is cheap, plus 3 recruitment is awesome. And then you get plus 2 for all ranks in every province, which is even better, not that it makes any difference because I'm not going to be able to build them anywhere else. But anyway, where are you going? You're exploring. Dracula Spire. I'm going to wander over there and Servant investigate that. I don't know what it is. Uh, right, we've got a couple of missions. Uh, we still need to basically loot someone, because we haven't done that yet. Dark and noble warrior. Fear me. Uh, so that's a thing that needs to happen. I don't really know who we need to loot, but we do need to loot someone. Uh, we've had that one for ages. And we do need to recruit a couple more units so let's just we can do that fairly sharpish can't we except we haven't got any cash spent literally all my money wow why didn't anyone tell me uh end turn 25 minutes i'm gonna let this run until the beginning of next turn and then we will call this episode quits because i am hungry i need eating to food into my belly hello hello This faction has declared war on me. The exiles of Nehek, uh, the Tomb Kings, have declared war on me. 
Their strength is 15. My strength is 4. Okay. So that was good. I literally found some people and then immediately got into a war with them. That's just the way it goes sometimes. We'll deal with it in a couple of turns time. Thanks very much for watching this and I will see you all again soon. Cheers now. Bye bye.